This is Twit. Andrew in Bettendorf, Iowa. Hi, Andrew. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Leo. Uh, I was calling because of the recent ruling on net neutrality for the FCC. Yeah. And apparently, from what I understand, the ruling said that um, uh, Internet providers are now allowed to block or slow down websites. They just have to report that they're doing that. I think there was a little bit of a gloom and doom reporting on this. I don't I'm not as gloomy about it. In my opinion, the appeal, what the appeals court told the FCC, the FCC already knew, you do not have jurisdiction. In fact, in the decision, the judge who wrote the decision said, we understand it is very important for the success and the continued innovation of the Internet that, it not, that, that this kind of thing not happen. But we have to say, from a purely legal point of view, the FCC has not established jurisdiction. You know, the FCC has jurisdiction over phone companies, has jurisdiction over radio stations. It doesn't have jurisdiction, for instance, over podcasts. So if the FCC decided to sue a podcast for using the seven bad words, the court would say, you're right, they shouldn't use the seven bad words, but you can't stop them because you don't have jurisdiction. That's, in effect, what happened. The FCC has jurisdiction over something called common carriers. A phone company is a common carrier. They have, for some reason, decided not to declare broadband providers common carriers. Now, there are probably political implications. I'm not sure why not. But the court simply said, because you haven't declared broadband common carrier, you don't have jurisdiction here. Now, I believe that we're going to have to fight for this. Is, they call it net neutrality. It's a terrible word. What I really think the way to say is we're against discrimination on the Internet. We don't want to have to pay extra to get Verizon to bring you the bits or AT&T or Comcast. Here's an example. AT&T is doing this sponsored data thing where if you pay them money, they won't their customers won't have to use up bandwidth to get it. So Netflix might go to AT&T and say, here's, you know, 10 bucks a customer a month. Now the customer doesn't have to pay for the bandwidth. But that is discriminate. It's great for Netflix discriminating against YouTube if they don't pay. Because the customer does have to pay for YouTube, but not for Netflix. Suddenly it's an unequal, balanced, in unbalanced playing field. We, that's that's going to kill the free and open flow of information on the Internet. And, we, and I think the court said this is important. But we cannot, in good conscience, say that you have jurisdiction when you don't. So I wouldn't yeah. global. I don't think this is the end of the world. I think we do have to write to Congress and say, look, we need a free and open Internet. This is good for America. you got to enforce this. Or perhaps go to the FCC and say, declare these guys common carriers. The fight is not over, and we got to keep fighting. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.